What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special video where I'm going to be playing saxophone at the waterfront down here in Toronto. Now I haven't done this in about two years, but I think I'm better now. So hopefully being better means more money. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm going to show you guys how much I make after the video, well after I perform. So stay tuned for that. All right, I'm still in the garage right now. It's around 8, 10 p.m. So it's almost a sunset. So I better get out there. I'll see you at the waterfront. Alright, so unfortunately I did get kicked out of that spot, but it's not like I can't play, it's just like I can't play over there because it's some kind of special area. So I'm just gonna try to move somewhere else. Um, he said the sidewalk was okay, so I guess we're taking it to the sidewalk. Obviously the view's not as good, but we'll see. Alright, it's my new spot. Obviously not as nice as the old one, but hopefully this will come in clutch. All right, let's do it.
live in downtown Toronto, you gotta expect some sound. It's not too Oh, no, no, I know. If you don't like it, you might as well move up. No, no, no. You know? Alright, what's up guys? So I made it back home and I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what happened tonight. So as you saw, first I went to the waterfront and then I wanted to play there. But I only got through two songs before the security came and told me I had to leave. Now they were actually really nice about it. They were saying that this is a special area around the waterfront and no one's allowed to play here unless you have that special permit. So I actually tried to get one of these permits, I was looking into it, but this year the, the permit office was closed because of COVID. So I guess I just assume that because the office is closed, anyone can just perform, but looks like that is not the case. So the security told me that I'm allowed to busk anywhere on the sidewalk, so that's where I went. But when I got to the sidewalk, um, as you saw earlier then, I only played less than one song before someone came down from a condo across. Like the problem with the sidewalk is that there's all these condos right across from me and I don't think the sax is that loud but clearly it was too much for them to handle. And so when he came I wasn't too happy. I was thinking well he was saying it's really loud he's trying to sleep and I was thinking it's only 8 50 p.m. like why are you sleeping so early but you know I don't want to be a dick about it so I told him I'll pack up but I also said if you don't like noise don't live in downtown Toronto because a pretty noisy place and yeah after that I decided to just walk around and it was already dark by then so I didn't really feel like performing anymore but I still just wanted to play sax because you know I was already downtown I just want to play so then I went to a nearby picnic place I think it was Harborfront Square in that picnic area I just got on a table and, I, and at this point I was just playing for fun I didn't really expect anybody to give me any more tips so here's a clip of me playing when it was already dark My surprise there were actually a lot more people there at that hour than I would have initially thought. It was almost 10 p.m. and there were still a lot of people just chilling by the picnic area and while I didn't make too much money off it I actually got a lot of applause which means uh, just as much as money. So I did mention earlier that I will let you guys know how much money I make in this night and in around an hour of actual playing I made $35. Now I think that's really nice because I'm just out here doing what I love, playing the songs that I know and people who appreciate it give me a little bit of something. And it really means a lot to me. If you are one of those people who saw my sign, came to this channel, thank you so much. It really means everything to me that, that you appreciate what I do. I know that when I'm out there playing, some people are going to find it really annoying and be like, why is it so loud? And But it's okay, you know? There's people who love it, there's people who hate it, and that's fine. And at the end of the day, it's not really about getting money it's just it's just doing what I love outside and it makes me feel good it's, it's a lot better than just playing in the basement and that's really all it's about I always also give away a portion of the money that I make every night to other street musicians because I feel like that's just sharing the good karma and if I'm gonna if I give tips to another musician I just feel like in the future that's gonna come back to me all right that is the end of this video let me know if you enjoy this kind of footage where I'm playing in the streets getting kicked out by different kind of people and yeah subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time <laughs>